Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get extended security updates in Windows Server 2008 R2. Before we start the tutorial, I want to mention that I'm not responsible for anything that goes wrong to your system, and please proceed at your own risk. Damages to your system are possible, so I'd recommend trying this on a virtual machine or on an older PC that you aren't using. Now, before we begin, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as it helps out the channel a ton. Now let's begin. Firstly, we need to install Service Pack 1 if it isn't already installed. In the installer, click Next, click I accept the license terms, and then click Next. Make sure that this box is checked beside Automatically Restart the Computer, and then click Install. And then Service Pack 1 will start to install. Once we've installed Service Pack 1, we'll get a message saying that Windows Server 2008 R2 Service Pack 1 is now installed. We can now close this window, and we can move on to the next step. First, we need to install the root certificate update. On the prompt, click Yes, and then it will start installing the root certificate update. Once it finishes installing, we can click Restart Now. Next, we need to install the servicing stack update of March 2019. On the prompt, click Yes, and then it'll start installing the servicing stack update of March 2019. Once it finishes installing, we can click Close. Next, we need to install the SHA2 code signing support update of September 2019. On the prompt, click Yes. And then it'll start installing the SHA2 code signing support update of September 2019. Once it finishes installing, we can click Restart Now. Next, we need to install the servicing stack update. On the prompt, click Yes. And then it'll start installing the servicing stack update. Once it finishes installing, we can click Close. Next, we need to install the Windows Update Agent. In the installer, click Next. Click I agree. And then click Next. And then the Windows Update Agent will start to install. Once it finishes installing, we can click Finish. Next, we need to install the Speed Up Patches Update Rollup. On the prompt, click Yes, and then it'll start installing the Speed Up Patches Update Rollup. Once it finishes installing, we can click Restart Now. Next, we need to install the latest Extended Servicing Stack Update of May 2020. On the prompt, click Yes, and then it'll start installing the latest Extended Servicing Stack Update of May 2020. Once it finishes installing, we can click Close. Next, we need to install the ESU Licensing Preparation Package. On the prompt, click Yes, and then it'll start installing the ESU Licensing Preparation Package. Once it finishes installing, we can click Restart Now. Next, we need to install the ESU Bypass Tool. When you download the file, you'll need to extract it, and the password to extract it is 2020. I'll have it linked in the description below. After we've extracted the file, we'll need to open it, and then right click on Live OS Setup, and then click Run as Administrator. On our keyboard, we need to press the letter 1 and then it'll start installing the ESU Bypass tool. Once it finishes installing, we can press any key to exit. And now all that's left to do is to check for updates. And to do that, we need to click the Start button, and then in the search box, we can type Windows Update. And then we can either hit Enter on our keyboard, or click the first result, which should be Windows Update. If you get a message saying that we need to turn on automatic updates, just click Turn on Automatic Updates, and then it'll start checking for updates. If you still get an error when we're checking for updates, then we can install the KB3102810 update file. This update file will fix the error and we should be able to get extended security updates. And there we go, we've now found 139 updates and 5 optional updates. So there we go, that's how to get extended security updates in Windows Server 2008 R2. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like my videos, share them with your friends, and let me know in the comment section down below if this worked for you. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.